Hello again, everyone. Today is September the 11th, connecting Bible prophecy with current events and blessings, if you will. I want to get right into it for time limited limitations here. Let me go straight down to where I want to show you. First of all, I wanted to show you the prophecy that the Lord warned us in the last days in Hosea chapter 4, where we see we're supposed to be looking for birds, fish, and animals dying off in the last days. And we've been seeing that almost on a daily basis. Now, I have been keeping you up to date on this information. And here is the latest of what is happening or what has happened that's been reported in the news connecting to this prophecy. And I expect that because we are in the birth bangs, we're going to see a lot more of this kind of news. So coming out of Switzerland, we see that there were 850 trout that died off. I have all the links for you there. You'll be able to go and see them. Now, in many of these reports, which I have already read, there's the, the deaths are a mystery. And this is you know, part and parcel for most of the reports that I've been reading. The, the scientists are trying to figure out, or the officials are trying to figure out what is killing off either the animals of the, or the birds or the fish. Now in China, China has been having a lot of problems lately. Tens of thousands of fish die in the reservoir there in Hunyan. And this was September the 8th. And I didn't have any of these reports in my book, but they are now in my book. Also in Canada, a massive starfish die-off baffles, excuse me, the scientists in Britain and the Columbia Canada. And then we have in Kazakhstan, 3,000 antelopes died off there. Again, mystery. Trying to figure out what the heck is going on. September the 10th, this is yesterday's news. 800 plus fish, two dolphins and two turtles wash ashore dead on, on the beach there in Nicaragua. So there are many, many nations that are facing the exact same thing that the Lord warned that we would, obviously, would we be seeing in the last days. Now, also, I wanted to make sure that everybody knew that there was a question that was asked me, a very important question, what I answered it, and it had to do, are the Christians going to see the Antichrist? And the question was asked, Frank, do you think that us Christians will be here to see the rapture? Is there anything that shows that we will be here to see Damascus? And what he was talking about, the destruction of Damascus in Isaiah 17, 1 in Jeremiah chapter 49, verses 24 through 27. Or do you think the Lord will take us home before Damascus? And Vincent Gonzalez asked me this question, and I answered that question and for those of you who don't know what the rapture of the church is or the appearance of the Antichrist, you may want to read. Go to my website and read what I wrote to him. And then what I have there for you is links that you can read. And it points to what the possibility of this strong delusion that the Lord warned us about in the last days. All right? So with that, let me go to the blessing now of the ministry because I am being blessed as my work for the Lord through the book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, makes its way around the world in different places and everybody who gets the book is getting the book for free. There isn't anybody that can come to my ministry and say, Frank DeMora charged me for anything. It's just non-existent. And if you hear anybody say that they're paying for books, I'll tell you straight out now, it is a lie. As a matter of fact, when you open the cover of my book, inside one of the first pages, it says this book is not to be sold. All right? So let me just show you that. You see this? This is a, from my, my book. You'll see the copyright date, 2010. This book is not to be sold for any reason. It is a gift. So again, if anyone asks, if anyone asks or says that they want to buy this book, I can't sell it because the Lord gave me orders never to ask anybody for anything in the ministry as far as can they buy my book. No, we'll get it to you for free. As long as the Lord touches people and I can print the book up 
and this book is given to anybody for free and if I can't get a hard copy I am giving discs so that you can put it on your computer and you can read it that way for free now part of the blessing that the Lord has given to me is he sent to me or the vice versa however you want to look at it pastor Fiaz and I he's in Pakistan he wrote to me he wanted some books and he partnered up with my ministry and his wife has they are now as you can see from my writing here it says let me just say what I wrote it says may I share with you the blessing Jesus is given me via my work through pastor Fiaz in Pakistan I want to share this with you because many of you have been touched by Christ to send funds to a sent ministry in order to keep my book in print Although Ascent is not my ministry, they are giving or helping me give my books out for free, and this is costly. I want to thank all of you who have joined with me to make sure as many know about these last days as we can reach. And, as I said, Pastor Fiaz, along with his wife, are very important partners in my ministry. I just received an email from Pastor Fiaz. Here is the email and my response along with... I put here two pictures sent, or Fiaz sent to me, but actually there's more than that. It says, Dear Brother Frank, I shared about your book and the work with youth in Chan Dal Quera. I uh, shared how your book, book is working in Pakistan. They accepted your book with great interest. Thanks for sending me your books. And again, this couldn't happen unless you stepped in and you were listening to the Lord and you wanted to help get this to people for free. Here many are saying to translate your work in Yuda and want to translate some of your book in your do. Uh, what would you say? Please keep us in your prayers and your brother in Christ, Fiaz. And this is my response, Fiaz. I look up to you and the work you are doing in Pakistan. I am blessed even to know that you want to translate my work for the Lord. You are my right arm to spread the gospel of Christ in these last days in Pakistan. My brother, translate whatever you want as we are both working for the same goal, which is to take unsaved souls away from Satan. I signed it Frank Damore in the End Times Research Ministry. Now, these are the pictures that he sent to me. And he's going out into the different areas. We got him a bike. He's riding that bike, a motorcycle, motor, motor scooter, that we're giving him gas. And we're providing whatever it takes to get the word out. Bibles. And as you can see here, uh, he has my books that he's placing in the hands that when the people are reading this, they want to know more. They want to know more about Christ because actually what they're reading here is all the verses that I can get from the Bible prophecies. I put them in my book and then I show them all the documentation showing that we are definitely in the last days. And I give them the evidence, the proof of these uh, fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Here's another picture here where... Bible is given to one of the people that he is witnessing to there in Pakistan. Getting the word of the Lord is primary. Uh, I've let Pastor Fiaz know that nothing precedes the Bible. Okay, Very, very important to any ministry. And again, he's giving out the work of my book uh, to another person that he was witnessing to uh, in Pakistan. And here's another picture. I guess he's explaining what the book is about to this group that he was visiting. It is surely a blessing uh, to see Pastor Fiaz spreading the word, and it is a blessing knowing that he's using part of my work uh, to drive people to Jesus Christ, drive people to the Bible where they should have been uh, before, first of all. But in either case, whatever it takes to get the soul saved, God help us, please. We're praying for that. May the Lord Jesus give us guidance and wisdom how to get this out. Now, if the Lord touches you and you want to make sure that as many people want to get the hard copy or the disc for free, uh, Ascent Ministry, is they're giving 100% of if anybody that wants to help in this cause. Uh, you can write to Amy Naomi, Ascent Ministry. Here's the address. 
and you can send her the funds. I don't want the funds because I don't want anybody saying that Frank DeMore is getting anything. I don't get anything from his sent ministries other than the satisfaction and the blessing knowing that God is using this ministry to print up my books and to send them out for free. I'm doing all the mailing. The mailing is very expensive. It costs $78 to send out 10 of my books to Pakistan. So you can see how expensive this is, but the Lord is providing and he's touching hearts and hands. So thank you so much for coming to the End Times Research Ministry. Thank you so much for listening to the Lord. And I pray that you would pray for me that I can continue to connect the dots between Bible prophecy and current events that we can see so many souls saved, rushing in the arms of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has given his all on the cross for us. Thank you very much.